Hi, welcome to a2setknowledge.com. So in this video, we are going to discuss about how many algorithms do I need to learn or how many algorithms are exist in the world. So this is a question which I got from one of my forum, one of, from one of my uh, viewer. So this question is quite good and that made me to think something. So that's, that's, that's what I'm just going to discuss with you today. So algorithms are infinity. You have lots and lots of algorithms and there is no end for it. So you have lots of algorithms and most frequently used and most least used algorithms like that we have many things. An enhanced version of program is called an algorithm. So algorithm is something which we used to write to make my software or an application to think better and to act better and to work faster. So this is what an algorithm is. So algorithm is something even you can derive. So how to write an algorithm? What makes me to think to write an algorithm? So algorithm is all about whatever you see in natural activities which is happening or your daily activities, daily day-to-day -day activities which you are doing is all about algorithms, right? So I will give you a few examples for uh, understanding this in better. So we have something called a shortest path algorithm and that is very famous and you have already heard about it. And there is another name for it which is salesperson algorithm. Yeah. So an example application which has these sawdust path or shell person algorithm and example application is your Google map. Google maps will give you the sawdust path for your destination, right? So before this Google maps entered into picture, they used to give a name for the uh, algorithm in the olden days, which is sawdust path. So why they also used to call it a salesperson algorithm, you know? So salesperson and representatives and drivers, they are aware of uh, more routes than the normal people. Right? Because they, they need to know more number of routes. If one route is traffic and they need to take another one, right? So if that is blocked and they need to take another one and because they need to reach on time to the target, right? Or even all your maps and all your cab maps, everything is using this sawdust path or salesperson algorithm, which is still derived from the natural activities. And I can give you an, another example. There is an ex there is an algorithm called the ant colony algorithm, which is very famous algorithm. If you see the construction of the ant, um, uh, house or a building what to say I am just telling in the normal term so the house if you if you just dig it and if you take the house of the ant you can able to see some zigzag vertices and edges of the house but the very good thing in the particular uh, construction if you see you will be having multiple start point and end point you can start from any point the any door you can start and you will be reaching the destination that is the the main meeting hall for the ant, you can able to reach to the particular area. And once the meeting is done, from there you can start to your end, that is the out door. You can start from any path and you will be reaching the end, right? So so this is something as a, as a fact, people have studied from the ant colony. So that's why ant colony algorithm they used to call. So you can even search for some interesting history and facts about the ant colony. You will, you will be getting some good stories like what I am just telling. And I will give you an, so the people derived an algorithm and they applied it with some programming language and they have implemented an application. So another better example, one more, or the one last example I'm giving you, birds flocking algorithm, that is an algorithm. And if you see this algorithm is all about derived from birds. So when birds are migrated from one place to another place in the winter season and summer season, it, it, it usually used to migrate. And when it migrates to a new place, the challenge is to find the food, right? So it is easy to find a shelter, but it is not that much easy to find a food. So generally, if I migrate to a new home, so it will take some time to uh, uh, check which is the nearest departmental store, which is very nearest restaurant. So it takes some time for me, but uh, just the birds is a very uh, small uh, bird, a uh, living being, which is can easily able to identify the route to get the food. So birds used to discuss and they used to fly in different direction and they used to come back and they used to meet and discuss which is the shortest path and which has more food, which place has more food and which place has very danger and everything they will discuss. From the next day onwards, the entire uh, crew will uh, flew to the same direction, the one which they have concluded to go. So these activities has been derived from many natural activities and even you can, you are using algorithms in your daily day to day life. Your mind is having many algorithms, right? So I'm, I'm just giving you one chocolate and my friend is giving you two chocolate and most of the people will prefer for two. So your mind is doing some kind of a profit uh, calculation, which is again an algorithm. So there is no count for algorithms. We have infinity of algorithms. You can think you can use this way to think to write a new algorithm and how that algorithm will fit in the application and how you can earn from that application is what you need to think. So this video is just to explain you. 
this topic in detail. So thanks for watching A2ZKnowledge.com. We provide many videos and many technologies, not only theory, we have practical videos as well. And thanks for watching A2ZKnowledge.com. We provide videos in two languages, English and Tamil. If you really like this video, subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.